All right, welcome back everybody. The toString method. The toString method is an inherent method of objects. Its job is to convert an object to its string representation so that it is suitable for display. So I have a class car. Cars have four fields, a make, a model, a year, and a color. And I have a constructor to assign some of these fields. So what we could do, if we would like some of this information, we can override the built-in toString method of objects that includes cars too. So let's create a car object. Car, car equals new car. Then I need to pass in a make, model, year, and color. Let's say that this is a Chevy Corvette. The year is 2022 and the color is blue. So within a right line statement, if I type the name of my object car, there's actually a two string method. And when we invoke this method, let's take a look to see what happens. So this displays the namespace followed by the type of the object that we're working with. So we can actually override this method so that when we use the toString method, we can return a string representation of this object. Maybe we can display the make, model, year, and color somehow. So we'll need to override this method to string. So let's do that here. We're gonna type public, then to override a method, we have to use that override keyword, then type to string and this might auto generate for you so we're returning a string and by default this will return base to string what we can do instead is return something else we can return some sort of string representation that's suitable for display let's say that when i use the to string method of my car object i'd like to return a sentence that says this is a make plus model a chevy corvette so let's do something like this let's say string message equals this is a plus make then i'll just add a space plus model really you can do whatever you want and then i'm going to return this string or i could take all of this copy it and then return this is a make plus model i could do that too and that would work so when I use the toString method, it's going to return this sentence and insert make and model. This is a Chevy Corvette. One thing you can do too, you don't necessarily need to directly invoke the toString method. You can just type the name of the object and that will do the same thing. So this will behind the scenes call the toString method. So before when we displayed our object with a right line statement, it would display the namespace plus the type of the object. But if you were to override the toString method, you can return some sort of sentence or string representation of your object that is suitable for display. So yeah, that is the toString method. It converts an object to a string representation that is suitable for display. And really, you can type whatever you want here. Just be sure to return a string. So yeah, that is the toString method. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, drop a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.